nice warm sunny August morning here in the Bay Area California and it's time to trim the blackberries see all around me here I've got this year's growth the blackberry canes hanging all around my head back in here you see that I've got the uh, spent canes from the last year's season where the blackberries are done fruiting on them some right up over here starting to dry out in the sun. Blackberries are pretty well done because of the heat of summer. There's no such thing as an out-of-control blackberry. There's only a gardener that doesn't know how to control a blackberry. I often hear people complain, oh, they never grow blackberries. They get out of control on you. Well, you know, blackberries are blackberries. They have their habits and the ways that they do things. But uh, what really goes wrong is people's lack of understanding on how to put blackberries into order in the garden. Well, this variety of blackberry we're growing here is known as triple treat. Uh, triple treat is one of the thornless forms. Uh, it's called triple treat because it's got such great fruit. It has beautiful fall leaves and there are no thorns on the canes. With the smooth blackberries without thorns it's so much easier to get in here and uh, become friendly and intimate with your blackberries. I find them much more likable. I uh, highly recommend that gardeners, when possible, grow the thornless varieties. Unlike raspberries, the uh, blackberries' wood color down inside the plant is the same whether it was last year's growth or this year's growth. In all cases, it's green. But we can tell the difference by looking to see which canes had produced fruit. You'll see little stubs here where the fruit had grown. And as we go in and look, we see a lot of brown foliage on last year's canes because they're losing their vigor. Those are the ones that we're going to prune out of the berries. What we're going to conserve are these really nice, smooth, clean, green ones right here that are going to make the fruit for next year. Well, I've got my knee pads um, down here inside the blackberry plant. I'm going to start looking for uh, the old canes that grew last year. Uh, begin removing some of them. i got my uh, blackberry supported here inside a tomato cage, so I'm going to have to whittle my way out of this thing just a bit uh, by taking the canes off bit, bit at a time. There we go, like that, I'm pulling them through the cage. Uh, there we go, that's one right there. Year's growth. And this one right here is also from last year. Uh, I'm going to take that one off, cut it right out of the cage there. There we go. Uh, that would be all the canes that uh, grew this last season. We'll get in here and just remove the stubs off just a little bit above ground level. And now we have four canes left that grew this year. But I'm going to go back up top and we're going to try to train them to put some order to them. Alrighty, well now if we compare the blackberries over here on the right that haven't been pruned yet, you'll see there's still some fruit in them and then there's some of these stubs where the fruit has finished off and it's just dry woody ends. They're kind of a little bit on the messy looking side, maybe a few dry leaves in there. But if we come over here to the ones that I just finished pruning and have a look at these, what we see is just long, big, clean, straight stems that never had any flowers, never had any fruit on them. Now, this is what we're looking for when we go to train our blackberries, okay? So after they fruited, we take out last year's stems, leave this year's growth, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to put some semblance of order to this year's growth. There are many different ways that a person might go about training a blackberry. But rule number one is never let the tip of the blackberry touch the ground. The tip of the blackberry is allowed to touch the ground. What's going to happen to it is that it's going to send down roots. It'll peg in that spot. And that's where you get this whole idea that blackberries get out of control in the garden because they begin to leapfrog from one place to another as the tip's set down. Now what I just did with this whole cane here is I circled it just like I was coiling rope, okay? Now I'm going to take some plastic tree tie, run it around the redwood trellis here in the back after I got it coiled, and I'm going to tie this coil right on down to the trellis there like that. You use all kind of knots. I'm using a classic square knot there to hold it down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find ourselves another one here. Actually, this one looks like it's in a pretty good location. And, uh, since I coiled the first one high, 
I'm going to go ahead and tie the second one a little bit lower. Now what's going to happen here is these blackberries are going to go dormant uh, for the winter and when they come back out in the spring we're going to go ahead and start growing little shoots at all the leaf joints and that's where the fruit's going to come from. And so we've got our canes now put under control so that they can't touch the ground so we no longer have any concern that the blackberry is going to get out of control on us. All right, now I'm going to move over here to the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Take this cane, grab it up, take it, and twirl it just like we're coiling a rope. Okay? Twist it around itself a little bit there. Now, as I said, there are many, many different ways that a person can train a blackberry. Um, this is just one of them. Um, I don't know, perhaps I even invented this system, I'm not certain. You know, I've not really ever seen anybody use the rope coil technique on blackberries. A lot of times they zigzag the canes. And I'm going to take this one after I get a coil out of it and I'm going to tie it lower so that we have two tiers here of, uh, of uh, blackberry coils. go. Now that took care of uh, the possibility that any of these were going to go ahead and touch the ground. Alrighty. So, we look over here and we'll see a blackberry that hasn't yet been pruned or trained. It still has some fruit in it, so I'm going to wait another week or so on that one so we can pick everything. But you'll see the new canes here are trailing well out of the, the mass from last year because they're chaotic, disorganized, and just kind of growing the way blackberries grow. Over here, we have the plant that had just finished. We pruned off all the old canes. All the brand new growth that hadn't flowered is now trained up on our redwood trellis over there. Main canes in this case are being held stiff by a tomato cage, so they're upright. And then the ends of the canes, I rolled them like ropes, and then I tied them up to the redwood trellis. We're no longer in any danger that this plant is possibly going to touch the canes to the ground. So it can't really go anywhere. All it can do now is just grow out at the leaf joints next spring when it wakes up and make us a beautiful crop of blackberries. Simultaneously, it will produce new canes from the clump at ground level. Now, ra blackberries, unlike raspberries, do not run at the root. Okay, the, the red raspberry or the golden raspberry is a running plant, and so they're going to spread underground. The blackberry doesn't do that. It grows from a clump in one spot. And again, as long as those canes are not allowed to touch the ground on the tips, you got it made, and your blackberries are well tamed. Enjoy that blackberry syrup, blackberry cobbler, and have a nice day. Bye.